This video contains scenes of spacecraft debris in pristine Martian landscapes that some may find disturbing and need not watch. For everyone else, the latest sighting may trigger curiosity and a sense of wonder. On this episode of Mars Guy, Perseverance and Ingenuity arrived at Mars cocooned inside a capsule which released them and their jetpack at just the right time to complete the landing sequence. The jetpack, more formally known as the Sky Crane, lowered Perseverance safely to the ground with Ingenuity strapped to its belly inside a protective cover. The Sky Crane was designed to be cut free and fly far away to avoid crashing on Perseverance. Designing it to land safely would have added needless cost and complexity. The crash landing of the Sky Crane produced a debris field with a range of pieces, including some that were able to be transported by the wind, even in the thin Martian atmosphere. The most notable example is about two kilometers, roughly one and a quarter miles, from the Sky Crane crash site in terrain informally known as the Bacon Strip. Here's Mars Guy for scale. That's where Perseverance found a piece of multi-layer insulation, MLI, wedged in a rock. See episode 63 for details. The sky crane was covered in this MLI, some of which likely was shredded upon impact. The piece wedged in the rock was assumed to have arrived by the wind rather than ballistically emplaced from the impact. But now we have definitive evidence of wind-driven scraps of MLI far from the impact site. And it starts with an observation by Ingenuity on the 51st flight of its planned five-flight mission. An aerial shot intended to get a view inside Belva Crater included two otherworldly objects, one that's not surprising but still cool, the other much smaller one barely made it into frame. It's a shiny, roughly triangular piece of what presumably is more MLI, and assuming it came from the Sky Crane crash site, it's been on a journey of at least four and a half kilometers to get here. By comparing it to the location of the pieces of MLI in the Bacon Strip, we can start to map out the dominant wind direction in this part of Jezero Crater. Now, thanks to new observations from Perseverance, that mapping just got more precise. Perseverance arrived in this location at the end of June, restoring the radio link to Ingenuity for the first time in two months, as I reported in the previous episode. It also brought into view another link to Ingenuity, a piece of spacecraft debris, again, presumably more MLI. The link comes from evidence that this is the same piece of spacecraft debris imaged from above by Ingenuity, but now in this new location. It appears to be about the same size with a similar roughly triangular shape as the piece observed by Ingenuity. Wrap your head around that coincidence. Behind it is a trail of disturbed dust that exposes darker sand underneath. The gaps in the trail probably mean that the MLI tumbled into place, and it appears that the trail starts close by, which suggests that the piece flew in from above rather than dragging along the ground. It's a human-made butterfly on Mars, or maybe a phoenix bird rising from a crashed spacecraft. That trail even points back in the direction of the last known location of this MLI about 120 meters away, approximately on trend with the previously mapped travel directions. This reinforces the observation of a dominant wind direction. Interestingly, the apparent dominant direction of sandblasted facets of rocks in the area is not the same, which may suggest that the wind in the current climate is not responsible for this erosion. This shows how spacecraft debris on the move can be used for science, and every scrap of our pioneering efforts to explore Mars will someday be sought after collector's items. So is it debris or treasure? <laughs>